Hi and welcome back to Lightscribe.tv. In this video I want to run through the first of the major components you need for Lightscribe, namely your Lightscribe enabled DVD drive. Now these drives, like any other DVD drive for a um, computer system, come in or two flavours if you like. An internal drive you have fitted um, inside your laptop or PC and an external USB run drive that you can move from system to system. I personally prefer the latter simply because I have many Lightscribe systems I run things well, run Lightscribe from and I don't therefore need to have a drive in each. There are many versions of these and um, we'll go on to that as well in a minute. The other thing you can have is a Lightscribe duplicator. Now these are for professional and semi-professional people who are producing music or video um, in batches and don't want to take the time to do one disc at a time. For, mo for most of us, myself included, I use um, a single standalone Lightscribe drive to produce all the labels. Over the years I've produced well, about 23, 24,000 labels now so it's not that I don't produce quite a few it's just that I'm quite happy to do them singularly. Now the biggest question I get asked is how do I recognize if my drive that I've already got is a Lightscribe drive or not? Now that question can be answered really in two ways. Firstly if you've bought your PC or laptop within the last four years it doesn't matter it won't have one not built in. If you bought a HP system prior to that from 2006 really to 2011 it's it's very likely in fact it will have a Lightscribe drive in it. Now the way you recognize this is if it's got a Lightscribe logo. Now they appear on the um, trays of the drives nice and visible nice and easy. Now the only difficulty is on some of the internal uh, very thin drives that go into laptops they don't appear. On these, um, on the one on the left which is um, one such drive it does appear but sometimes they never did print them on so you can't tell from the logo itself. The new drives, the ones on the right, these are really mostly unbranded drives that come from China um, they too will have a Lightscribe logo on them so you can recognize them. The problem you may have is if you've got a um, laptop and you're not sure if your drive is Lightscribe because it doesn't have the logo on the front and that's as I said not a hundred percent guarantee then you have to look for another thing. Now this one as I say has got the Lightscribe logo there, logo there you can see it but it's also got something else. Now all Lightscribe drives, internal drives, have this and you can see it and that is a Lightscribe sensor. Now this is a se separate piece of circuitry that allows the drive to perform Lightscribe functions. And in fact when I say Lightscribe enabled that's the bit that enables it. Now the different drives have these sensors in different places but all Lightscribe drives that have trays that open like this, in other words internal laptop drives, all have these sensors if they're Lightscribe drives. I know I'm repeating myself but this is the only way you will know if it doesn't have um, a logo on the front. Now if it does not have this sensor, there's a, it's just not there, you'll realize if you open your drive and there isn't something there, then I can guarantee you do not have a Lightscribe drive. So you need a logo on the front or the sensor that you can see to guarantee you have a Lightscribe drive. So now you've established you have or you need to go and buy one a Lightscribe drive, what's next? Well the next thing we need to look at are the CDs and DVDs. What makes them special and where do I get them? Look out for the next video in this series for information on that. Thanks very much indeed and enjoy light scribing. 